walking downtown Burlington, you may have passed the Joseph Tassoni Boutique and wondered just who is Joseph Tassoni? Well, Nikki Wesley went to find out how Burlington's own award-winning fashion designer got his start and why he is so passionate about cultivating Canadian fashion. Our mother said, well, what do you love? And I said, making clothes. She goes, then you have to make clothes. Fashion designer Joseph Tassoni started sewing at five and a half before he could even read. With three younger sisters, he started making creations just for them. Often I would take a lot of inspiration um, from the fabrics around me, including my mom's curtains. After graduating from Toronto Metropolitan University, he went to work for his mentor, Joe Mimran. Over the next 18 years, he took positions in various facets of fashion, cultivating a complete understanding of the industry. He even broadened his international perspective, living in San Paolo for a year, where he designed an eco-friendly jewelry line sold across Canada. In 2016, he was recognized as one of the up-and-coming Canadian designers. He was asked to design his first cashmere bathroom tissue gown in support of breast cancer. He realized his dream in 2017, launching his signature parka line from his mother's home in Oakville. Two years later, he opened the doors to his current store, where he designs and creates timeless bespoke pieces for his clients. Oh my, color. yes. They're like, wow, I've never had a garment that's ever fit me so well. And when they understand that there's nothing wrong with their silhouette, and it was just about, you know, when you go into a store, you're finding what's available. And when you're finding what's available, it doesn't necessarily work for your silhouette. So when they come in here and we create this piece, they're just like, and, and there's tweaks that always get done. I then sometimes, if I'm not happy, I'm like, no, we're going to do another version. They're like, well, I don't understand. Well, I'm like, just, this is what we do. Just months after opening, the pandemic hit. Refusing to be deterred, he was one of the first Canadian designers to create reusable masks, with part of the proceeds going towards Joseph Brandt Hospital. When restrictions were lifted, he was overjoyed to welcome clients back into his unique space. The way that it works in here is it's part art gallery, it, it's a workspace, it's showroom, it's an experience and a memory. And what I love about this space is being surrounded by the windows is the community. They walk by and they literally see me cutting and sewing at night. The space also has a window into the Pearl and Pine. Because the residents are from the generation who created dazzling store windows, he creates a display just for them. So the residents, I'm friends with many, you know, I always get a great opinion as to how I can do it better because there's always room for improvement. <laughs> Tassoni is passionate about supporting the Canadian fashion industry through both sourcing Canadian materials and making local. He also helps mentor the next generation of fashion students. While his line did start with separate women's and men's designs, he now creates gender fluid clothing. I want everyone to feel welcomed. I want everyone to feel safe and through my sustainable fashion, right? You know, we're reusing materials. I'm creating timeless pieces. Let's just say this overcoat can go across anyone, however you identify. So it's really important to me because making people feel okay with how they are. It's okay to feel how you are feeling. And you know what? Yes, for sure, we're gonna find something in here that's gonna make you feel 150% and empowered when you walk in the room. That's what I always want. <laughs> for Halton News, I'm Nikki Wesley.